Hi everyone, so today quickly let's have a discussion on the parts of a microscope early morning let's finish this small topic. So this is a light microscope that we've got and the first thing that I want to show you is the light source. So do you notice that at the bottom there is a light source that is present over here. So this is the light, this is the knob with which I've, I can switch on and off the light. Following which I can also, there's a regulator, see there's a regulator over here. I can adjust the amount of light that I would be needing. So number one, what do I have? First, I have a light source. What does the light source, the light pass through? This particular part. This particular part is the condenser. So see, I can move the condenser up and down. I can move it up and down. And then with this knob, I can adjust the amount of light entering. So this becomes the iris. There is an iris present. So this full thing is a condenser. And then there is an iris that is present, which will help me regulate the amount of light entering. Where does the light enter? The light enters over here. What is this? This is the stage. So do you notice I've kept the slide on a stage? Okay. Now, after the light enters, the light comes in contact with, you know, light passes through this slide and whatever specimen you've kept over here. What is the first set of lenses that you have? Do you notice this set of four lenses? These are the objective lenses. So let's see what's written on them. Number one, on this objective lens, this tiny lens, you have 4x written. So this is 4x magnification. On the next one, you have 10x written. Okay. Further, you have 40x written. And lastly, you have 100x written. So what are the four magnifications? 4x, 10x, 40x and 100x. And what is written on the 100x? Oil. So this is the one that you will use when you have to see something in oil like the hematology slides. So guys, what am I going to do for viewing something in oil? So first I will just put a tiny drop of oil over here. Having put that, I will place this particular lens. I will place this lens, but now I see that the lens is not in contact with the oil. So the slide is not in contact with the oil. So I need to move this stage. This stage needs to be moved. How do I move it? So on the side over here, you have these two buttons. You have these two knobs as you notice. One is the big knob and one is the tiny knob. So what is the big knob? See now when I move the big knob, what will happen? When I move the big knob, the stage is moving. The stage is moving. So do you notice now the oil and the slide have come in contact with the lens? The big knob, that is the coarse adjustment. But now I want to adjust it as per my vision. So now what I'm going to move, this tiny knob over here I will move. So when I move this tiny knob, do you notice? Uh, you can hardly appreciate that movement because this is just to adjust it as per your sight. So what is the big knob? When I move the big knob, look at this. The full stage moves, you, visible movement. So this is coarse adjustment. When I move the tiny knob, that is just fine adjustment. Further, you have a scale over here. So in some cases, you might want to measure or put the distance of something that you see microscopically. So there's a scale also present over here known as the Vernier's scale, correct? Finally, after the objective lens is, uh, I've explained to you, you have this last one from where you're viewing. So this is a binocular vision. You can adjust it as per your uh, intercanthal distance. And what is the magnification written on this? 10x. So this is the eyepiece. This is the eyepiece. So the final magnification that you get is what you would multiply is the objective lens that you are using and the eyepiece is always 10x. So for example, I'm using oil immersion. See the slide is in oil immersion. What is the magnification of oil immersion? 100x. What is the magnification of eyepiece? 10x. So what is the total magnification that I've got? 100 into 10 that is 1000x that's the maximum magnification i can get in this light microscope so these were the parts of a light microscope that you have to know which is very very important for your exam